Okay guys, this is going to be a nodding video. Uh, today we are going sure to that. make a joint connection between a braid and a monofilament. A monofilament. Uh, today I'll be using a 50 pound Berkeley big game in green. Right there. Green. And we're going to connect it to a 50 pound spider wire. This is a 50 pound, 12 pound test diameter. Uh, and that is the stealth braid, if I'm not mistaken. The knot that I'm going to build is a bob sand knot. Uh, it is the most castable knot I ever used. That's my personal opinion, and I love it. It's 100% knot. It's easy, you can tie it on the go. It's Slightly tedious, but a lot less tedious than an Albright, to my opinion. Yeah, this is where it jumps. Mono, mono leader, any kind, can be mono, can be a rod tested on both uh, type of line. It works, so no worries there. Just make a double your line, put it overlapping together. It's easy, I'm right-handed, so my hands are... Make a loop, make a small loop, make a three loop unit. One, two, three. And just tight. And tight. Uh, make sure you have enough, enough braid. Just saw it. Okay. You want to tighten the mono slightly enough snugly enough so you still have can you still have movement in the braid but not too loose that will f during compression the mono will overlap the braid you don't want that because that actually will weaken the knot so you take your middle finger make a loop same as always wrap it eight times loosely one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you wrap it down eight times. Once you wrap it down, you can take your finger off. Make sure not to. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, oh, that's a bit too much. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Well, the, the key is, I can't overdo it on this one, the key is to get the same amount of going up as you same as the same amount of you going down. But if you end up going down a bit more than you should, because this thing will actually wrap itself you don't, if you don't hold your with your uh, index finger. Now, the trick is to pull the knot towards the front. So the line is flat like that. You have that slight arc want that you just want to stretch the knot as much as possible and then what you do you lube it okay. a little bit of saliva you take your main line your braid and just pull see it kind of compress now once it start to compress you want to hold your uh, right tag end with your teeth go to good from grip and this thing will compress no it's not good compress but but let's see I want to get a plier make sure this the tie again is nice and compressy nice and compress and just pull okay there you go see if you made this 
a little bit too much on your way up it won't be nice and smooth but it will go through the guide just as well so no worries about that now the second bit is collapsing this thing is now you might want to collapse the or tighten the mono for that you need gloves because this is such a heavy mono it will eat through your hand trust me it happens I'm take a pair of gloves car gloves any kind of finger protection to cover your arms your uh, joints yeah mostly your arms because this thing will eat the braid and the the 50 pound mono will eat through your skin real easily especially if you're doing this a lot and you just compress twig it okay and we have it we just have to cut our tag in and you can see how streamline this knot is once I'm done with it no need super glue don't need some stupid not stupid don't need to tie in a loop knot you can leave as much as braid as, as you want it so no but the key thing is to cut your mono as close as possible or just leave like a half a mil there, like that and you have a perfectly streamlined knot perfectly streamlined you can this thing will go a lot easier compared to a mono and mono on a heavy on a heavy floral or a heavy uh, heavy mono this will cast distance the problem I found on floor uh, on Albright since you have the line basically the, the mono double itself like this like that basically it's it's sandwiched in a layer of overlapping um, of overlapping braid or finger Chinese finger trap braid what happened in the during the cast sometimes one of these things if you not properly cut the tag end on the on this side it will get caught on your guide no matter how good you, you try it no well, I guess that's a relative term, but most of the time it will get caught unless you really cinch it down. What would end up eating the braid, eating the mono, like really digging into the mono. And this I found since it's compression, it's it it's only hold by compression. So the more it is compressed through the main line, this won't slip. Why? Because you. Uh, what will end up happening the line will twist and it will wrap more stronger with a heavier load I test this on my load cell the knot did break what break is the line so give it a shot hope you like it uh, there's not much uh, video about Bob Sands knot all I can find on YouTube is from Shimano and they will recommend uh, recommend this knot for Power Pro I would recommend it for any braid, any diameter. Uh, if it's too small, I would recommend just double your line. But yeah, you can use, you don't have to double your line. Uh, anything, I would say safely below 20 pound. Below 20 pound is, you kind of have to double your line because it's so thin. It will cut through it like hot knife through butter. But anything above 20 pound, super, super strong super super strong i uh, hope you like it and in tight lines and hope to see you on my next video thank you okay guys that's the end of the video uh comments please